What's happening, everybody? I'm Team Kills. What I like to do is make gaming easier. And welcome to my... I actually don't know what I'm going to call this. I just put out a quick sister video, and I was literally running through steel path levels, and a few people were surprised that Zaku could actually walk the path of steel, let alone run through it. Now, personally, I feel like any frame could take a walk on the path of steel. It's just not as easy for some frames as it is for others. Well, like Meg, Zaku's abilities are pretty much as powerful as the enemies you're facing. Now, power does help, it does, but it's not really needed. This is technically my weakest build. This is, uh, I don't know what to call it, a runner build, maybe? Um, if you want a complete Zaku swap -a -thon, just let me know, and I'll, I'll hook that up. But anyhow, Zaku's builds, they are good enough on their own just to keep, they're great. It doesn't really need an ability swap, but with the build that I was using, and once again, the weakest of the bunch, with the build that I was using, I swapped out the Lost for Empowered. Now, Rhino's Roar might be a good choice as well. It does do a 30% boost opposed to Empowered's 50% boost, but Roar can be boosted with Power Mods, so it can go up. Same with Duration. That's actually my issue, is that it's a timed ability. Now, with Roar, you also can get in a Syndicate mod that when you use it, it will knock down the other enemies and you share that damage with your other teammates. So it is a very useful ability. This is kind of selfish, but with Empowered, when you activate it, it will sit there and wait for as long as you need. Zaku's abilities take a bit of power, so you could get some power while this ability sits and waits. When you activate it, it's going to work for as long as that ability the next ability you do is going to work for as long as that ability is running. There's no timer. Now, if you use the Grass of Bloke, right after you use Empowered, that ability, all those guns, are going to be buffed by an extra 50%. Now, the good thing here is, when you use Vast Untime, it pauses that timer. I literally go through most missions with only doing this once. If it's a survival or a defense, I might regrass just to upgrade my weapons because as the enemies level scale so do their weapons and so does their damage i want that damage but the reality is i really only use that thing once and i am empowered for as long as i can keep this ability running oh very quickly you can actually cheat with zaku you pop your operator out after you grabbed all your weapons he becomes an invincible warframe turret it's awesome I'm with the school of Xenorix, so I have, I believe it's called Void Singularity, and that sucks people in, and he just shoots them down. It's awesome. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Now, because I don't have to keep recasting Empowered like I would have to if it was Reynolds Roar, when I use Vast on Time in this build, it's kind of expensive, but I don't need to do any efficiency because I have the time to get the energy back. Now, one of the things you need to remember is you can only empower one ability at the time. I like to have Zata's Whisper going as well. Uh, Vast Untime pauses that, so that's through the entire mission as well. But if you empower Zata's Whisper, you will lose the empower buff on the Grass of Loke. These are all dumb names. But anyhow, only one empowered, only one ability, and only one build. If you guys want more, let me know, and I'll give you the Zaku Swapathon. But I just was trying to answer a couple questions here. Now on that note, I really hope this helps. If it has, even if it didn't, join the team of killers. Become a killer of teams. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. It's the only way we can talk. Make sure you keep it easy in life. And remember, just keep gaming.